Welcome to the U.S. Holocaust Memorial Museum. I'm Daniel Green, the curator of Americans and the Holocaust. We decided on our 25th anniversary to look very closely at Americans' role in this history. And that goes back to our founding charter, uh, which mandated that the museum look very closely at Americans' role in this history. In fact, on the day we opened, Elie Wiesel, who was the chairman of, of the board at the time, said, this museum is not an answer, it's a question. And what we wanted to do in this exhibition is ask difficult questions about Americans' response to Nazism. The questions that frame this exhibition are, what did Americans know and what more could have been done? And you'll see throughout the exhibition that what we try to do is show the context of American history that shaped Americans' responses to Nazism. That context includes our isolationism in the aftermath of World War I, xenophobia, fear of immigrants, racism, Jim Crow America, anti-Semitism in the United States. The 1920s and 30s are the height of anti-Semitism in the United States. And then we're responding to Nazism amidst the context of the Great Depression and war. And so in this exhibition, we're always trying to keep that context front and center in visitors' minds. The opening film of the exhibition shows the context of the United States between 1918 and 1932. And what you see is um, Americans' response to World War I, um, veterans on the street, um, Americans mourning at graves of fallen soldiers. You see the context of the United States being relatively closed to immigrants with national origins quotas being passed in the mid-1920s that severely limited the number of immigrants who could be let in. Um, you see the rise of the second Ku Klux Klan in the 1920s, um, as well as Jim Crow America. And all of these things are precursors to the Nazis' rise to power in 1933. So what you see here is all the preconditions conditions um, that are foundational to America in the interwar period that will shape our early responses to Nazism.